It's just been officially announced that Sony's brand new Spider-Man movie will hit theaters on July 7th, 2017. And when it does, it will do so in the biggest way possible, in IMAX 3D. According to the reports, the new movie, which will be the first Spider-Man film to take place in the existing Marvel Cinematic Universe, will not actually be shot in 3D, but will go through a digital remastering into the IMAX 3D format. Schnepp, buy or sell Spider-Man hitting IMAX 3D? I'm, I'm going to half buy it. I don't know. Yeah. Just because it's like, I don't like when they're like, well, we're going to post convert it. Look, they may, IMAX went out of their way to make these smaller. I know they're still the size of a refrigerator, but a slightly smaller IMAX digital cameras so that you can actually shoot in true 3D. The post conversion process for me, it just feels like I don't like having 3D forced upon me when I go to see movies, but when it's done right, I mean, look at Avatar, look at a lot of other films that they were able to do the 3D processing right. I've seen a lot of films where it's blurry and strange and irritating, and I already wear glasses, so I have to put on another pair of glasses. So it better be damn good. I know they're not going to mess around with Spider-Man, so they're going to do a good job at shooting plates and things like that because it's going to be a post-conversion process. Uh, you know, so I'm hoping they do a great, really good job with their 3D conversion. So yeah, 3D is a blight on the movie-going humanity of humanity. I, I hate 3D. I think it's a totally useless gimmick. Um, all that being said, there are examples of it being done and mm -hmm. done right. I'll even say this: my second favorite example, obviously, my first is Avatar. My se second favorite example of pretty decently done 3D was actually that Paul Bettany movie Priest. Now the movie itself was Garbage. not. Yeah, it wasn't spectacular by any means, but that was a post-converted 3D experience. But they took like a year, whereas a lot of these films that do post-conversion, they'll do it in about three months. Mm -hmm. They said, no, no, we're going to do this right very slow, very painstakingly, and they took a year to do it. And coming from somebody who hates 3D, the post-conversion process in that environment actually kind of worked pretty well. But I got to admit, I still hate 3D. I have no intention of seeing Spider-Man in 3D, even in IMAX 3D when it comes out. So on that basis alone, for me, it's a sell. See, I'm going to buy it um, because the post conversion has gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. Also, and see, yes, and this isn't post conversion, but Avatar obviously is my th favorite 3D, and Dread was also great 3D. Dread just was to, amazing. Dread was really good 3D. But as far as post conversion, I think Star Wars was post conversion, and it actually I thought it worked pretty well from the, the screen that I saw. And I also trust in Sony's technology when it comes into the the, the, the 3D and both. But IMAX is really where I buy this because I want to see Spider Man flying through those streets in IMAX. I think that it's it's a great it's a great sell for them to do that and I think that in the new universe from what they're going to be doing I think it, I just think it fits and if you're going to put it in 3D and IMAX Spider-Man is the one to do it hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider